Hey, this is Passy from Passy's World of ICT, the guy with the white hat. And you might be wondering, why has he got the Microsoft t-shirt on today and not the Adobe periodic table of the elements that we're working through doing Photoshop and we'll be doing this one down here, Dreamweaver. Uh, because today we're going to use actually Microsoft PowerPoint uh, to make this table that's shown here, which will go into the restaurant website we've been working on. So web pages often use tables to group items neatly together. So this is one of our favorite camera shops in Melbourne, Michaels. And you see the products here all line up kind of in columns and in rows all neatly. And if you look carefully, there is some faint sort of light blue gray boxes here that things sit in. So this is called a table. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six little boxes showing there, uh, which the items are in. So tables are used for listing products and listing things on web pages to make it look a lot more neater and tidier. And that's what we're going to do. Now, you can make them in Adobe Dreamweaver, which we're going to be learning uh, in the next lesson, not this one. And you can also make them in Photoshop, but it is tricky in Photoshop. You have to get the rectangle tool and draw rectangles uh, with no color fill in them and thin lines on the outside and get them all lined up, which you can do with guides. Um, but we found, and our students have found, uh, one of our students actually put us onto this, that uh, you can make the, the table really easy in PowerPoint, and then you can just use a snipping tool to copy it onto your uh, Photoshop design of your web page. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take our previous lesson. We made the designs for our Indian restaurant web pages. And this one was for the menu page where they can click on this icon and download a PDF of the uh, menu. And we just had a couple of pictures in here. We're going to replace those pictures with a table this week's specials. And you can get some Rogan Josh, which is a really nice lamb dish, tandoori chicken, or tikka masala, my favorite. And here we've got a brief description and how much the special price is and whether it's a main or an entree. So I'm going to make that whole table instead of making it in Photoshop, which you could do, uh, we're going to make it in PowerPoint and then we'll take it out of PowerPoint and put it into Photoshop. Hence the Microsoft t-shirt instead of the Adobe one uh, for this particular lesson. Now Microsoft do not endorse this lesson in any way. Uh, or sponsor it. This is just a shirt I got uh, from a previous life when I used to work in IT. All right, so to make the web tables lesson, uh, remember I'm a bit of a slow talker, so make sure you increase the video play speed to 1.5, 1.75, or some of our students even watch it on two speed. Uh, you just go to that tools cog on the YouTube player bar, click on that, and where it says playback speed in the options that you can choose by clicking on that one, 1.5 or 1.75 should work really well. Now this is a long lesson because there are nine steps to making this specials table and getting it on our page design. So make sure you take breaks. So remember all of our videos have a video index timeline in them. So you can just go to a particular point. So if you're ready, if you were doing this video previously and you're coming back now and you're ready to do um, tennis photos, you can just click on that 38, 38 that's in blue there and that'll take you straight to that section of the video where the tennis photo starts, all right? So that's not the index for this video, but that's how you use a timeline index. So for our menu specials uh, page, we've got nine steps all together. First, we have to find the exact RGB color number of our Photoshop page design from the previous lesson of the background color we used on that, the mustard type uh, brown color. Then we're gonna make a slide in uh, Microsoft PowerPoint and set the background color to that exact same color which is on the Photoshop page. Uh, then we'll create and style a blank table, a new blank table on the PowerPoint slide. We'll add some text details into the table, add our images of those delicious Indian dishes onto the table, change the background colors of the table. We can make all the three rows different colors. Uh, add some finishing off styling to the table, snip the table from PowerPoint and save it, and also edit and copy paste it onto our Photoshop uh, menu page to make a new menu page that has this week's specials and our nice little table, which we made in Microsoft uh, PowerPoint. So uh, let's take a look at what you get in the lesson downloads. Right, in the downloads, uh, 
there you can download a Photoshop design for the menu page. Uh, ideally, you need to have done our previous lesson because you do need to know some Photoshop for this lesson. So in the previous lesson, we made all the web page designs. We made them in Photoshop. So if you do not know Photoshop at all and you've never used it, well then go back to this previous lesson and do it first uh, before doing this lesson on changing this menu page to make a table onto it. So you get the Photoshop file for that menu page. Uh, there's a PDF of step-by-step -step detailed instructions, which we'll be looking at shortly as we do the lesson. This, uh, what we're looking at now, this presentation is the uh, overview. So teachers can use this just as a presentation uh, to show their students before they do it. And if you're a teacher, you might just use the written instructions and not even use this video uh, and just have students refer to it if they have difficulties. Uh, we have a total flexible learning system here at Passy's World. And just to save you a bit of typing time, we've got the dish descriptions typed out in this text document so you can copy and paste them uh, when we get to that particular step in the lesson. So let's get on to step one, finding the RGB color of the background. So we're gonna to need to load up that page design for the menu page. Get on this rectangle here, which was the mustard colored rectangle for this background. We wanna get that exact um, type of brownie orange uh, mustard color there. And the way we can do that is we go window and then we go properties. And in the properties, if we click on that fill and click on the rainbow icon over here, it'll give us the exact RGB values, okay? and we'll need to write them down somewhere. And I'm just looking, I don't think I have pen and paper to do it, but we'll get around it somehow. Uh, 177, 132 and 12 is the exact red, green, blue uh, color mixture, which the pixels on the monitor make, uh, to make that exact uh, type of mustard brown color there. All right, and we can then use that color once we know its number. Uh, we can use that in PowerPoint to make sure our PowerPoint is the exact same color as our Photoshop item. And at the end, they'll blend together okay. So let's have a look at that uh, in the live demo and show you how to find the background RGB color. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop. If you didn't make this in the last lesson, just get the PSD file from the download. Notice we've got lots of layers happening here. Now, if you're not seeing those layers, you need to go to Window and make sure layers is ticked because yours might open up from the downloads like this. You need to go window up the top here and go to layers and make sure all these layers are showing up. Now the layer, which is this one, if you click on there, it should hopefully go to it. This color here was made from making this rectangle. So if we uh, click the eye next to that and turn it off, oh, the rectangle's not there. So that's the rectangle and we wanna find the RGB number for this exact color. All right, so while we're clicked on that rectangle, we go uh, window over here and then we find properties, which is right down here because they are in alphabetical order. And on the properties, if we click on this uh, fill color here, then click on the rainbow symbol just here. All right, it'll show us that exact color. That's it right there. Now it's numbers are 177, 132 and 12. So I'm just gonna write them down somewhere. Uh, 177, 132 and 12, and 12. So that is the exact red, green, blue pixel mix uh, to get that color. So you can just cancel on that and close that box. And that's that step done. We've got our exact color value. Okay, one step down and let me see the math, seven to go, I think, or eight. Was it a nine step process? Anyway, on to step two, the Microsoft PowerPoint background. All right, so there's step-by-step -step instructions PDF, uh, which gives the full details on how to complete this step. But just to show you quickly here, we're opening up a new PowerPoint presentation. Then we're uh, just right clicking anywhere on this white background, which is just in here and then selecting format background. And then you need to uh, go to your fill colors, make it solid fill, uh, click this down arrow here for the color we want and go to more colors. And then on the more colors, you get on the custom tab, not the standard one, the custom one. And here you can enter RGB numbers. And we're gonna put in that ones we wrote down, 177, 132 and 12 to get that exact same brown uh, background color for our PowerPoint slide, all right? So let's just show you uh, these detailed step-by-step -step instructions so you know about that. 
Okay, so there is a PDF of step-by-step uh, -step instructions uh, here. And that was step one, finding the RGB color. So it explains how to do all of that. We're on step two at the moment, making the blank slide. And here it sort of takes you through a bit slower in the steps. So they're more detailed and you can see them. Then we're gonna be on to step three, creating uh, and styling a table. So you can use these step-by-step uh, -step instructions. If you go to the video description, the YouTube video, you'll find the link to those and we suggest you get them. Uh, if you're a teacher, some students just use these step-by-step -step instructions and only use the video if they get into difficulties. It's up to you. You can flip the classroom, tell them to watch the video first and then have them do the work in class using the step-by-step -step instructions. Flexible learning, whatever way you want to do it. Uh, and speaking of learning, let's get on with it. All right, so here we are in PowerPoint and we've just opened up a blank presentation. Now, when you start a new blank presentation, so that was just by doing file and blank presentation like that, uh, you, you will have these text boxes. Just click on the outside of them so they're all highlighted and do delete on that one and delete on this one because we do not need those. Then you can right click here and go to format background uh, we want a solid fill. We need to click on this paint bucket here and on the paint bucket, go to more colors. All right, so down arrow on the paint bucket, then more colors. On the more colors, we're not gonna try and pick the color exactly from there, although we just did. Uh, we're going to go to custom. All right, and in custom, we can enter our magic RGB numbers, which are 177, 132, and 12. Now that should give us, and then just click OK, and that should give us the exact same color uh, that we've got in our Photoshop. So this color here should be exactly the same as that color there, all right? So that's getting the background set up. Okay, and we've just done the live demo of that. Now, step three, making the four by four table. Uh, in PowerPoint, we can just go insert and then table, and you can actually use your mouse to drag out here and draw four across and four down, that's what we need. And it'll come up on your screen like this. Don't worry about the colors, we're gonna recolor those in a minute by going to design, go onto the design tab, onto table design, and with these styles here, that are the yellow type of styles, uh, we're gonna pick this third one down, which will be a good starting point. Now, look, if that doesn't come up on yours and you can't change the colors, don't worry because we're going to show you later on how you can customize and style a table later on in like about step seven or something like that. So we're trying to get this one because this is a kind of a close match for a good starting point. And that should give us something like this after we've put the headings in. So that's what we're aiming for. So let's go across to PowerPoint and do that now. All right. So in PowerPoint, we're going insert, we're going to table. And remember, if you just don't have your mouse button down. Do not have the mouse button down. Just drag here and then we've got four and four. That's what we want, the four by four starting table. Now on this, uh, we're going to go to the design tab up the top here. So go on the design tab, go to table design and click on these yellow ones. And then click on the down arrow here. All right, so they're sort of down arrows like that, but what we did was we just clicked on the big down arrow here for more and then we picked this uh, third one here, light style three and accent four, this one right here. But anyway, it looks like that. So that's a good starting point. Now for the top layer, what we're gonna do is we've uh, moved our mouse just with the button up at the moment, we don't have it pressed down, uh, just till we get this black arrow. And if we click on that, that will highlight the whole top line, uh, right click on that and go to format shape. And on the fill, we want a solid fill on that. And the solid fill we want is kind of a dark red color uh, like that. And if we click off it, that's what we've got. So that's good. And then up here, we're gonna put in the original uh, text names uh, in a minute, but I think we're skipping ahead to other steps. The main step was to get the table in there. And then remember, once we had the table in there, we used table design. And on these yellow guys, we we're just picking this one here. Now I won't pick it. And then we got a solid black arrow here clicked. Then we did right click 
format shape and got that red color for the background of the heading. So let's see where we should be up to in the lesson. All right, so adding text details to the table. So following step four in the detailed PDF instructions. Ah, yes, yeah, so we need these uh, things all typed here. Menu, presentation, description, price. I think they're an orange color to get them to actually come out that yellow color. Then we need Rogan, Josh, and we need these descriptions. Now to help you out with the descriptions, uh, there is a download document you can use, a text document that looks like this where you can copy and paste those in. All right, so let's get to work on that. Okay, so in here we're just typing menu item and then you can just press the tab key or click across into the next one. Presentation is what it's gonna look like as a picture of photo we're gonna put in there later. Then we've got a description of it and then we have a price, okay? Now, uh, we also changed the color of those, so I think we can do that by losing our mouse on the screen. <laughs> All right, our mouse is back, is our mouse. If you use that black across arrow, which we can hardly see there next to the table and highlight all of that, uh, that's the wrong one. We need to highlight the next one, the top one. So yeah, you have to move your mouse until it sort of changes from the mouse heading to this black arrow. Then you click and that'll have all of that highlighted. Now with that writing, uh, I think we want a sort of an orange color. Uh, let's just go with that gold color. That kind of looks all right. All right, now in here, we've got to type these names. So we need names like Rogan Josh and Tandoori Chicken and so on. So I'll put those in and we're going to make those a green color. And for the description, let's talk about how you do the description. Okay, as part of the downloads, there's this notepad text file. All right, and you just get that and that's got the descriptions for you. So Rogan Josh, we can get that from the downloads, open it up, we just highlight all of that with our mouse and go control C to copy it, or you could go up the top here and go edit, copy, it doesn't matter. Then just go into your PowerPoint, where it's got description here, uh, just right click and do paste. All right, and that's put that in there. All right, and likewise, we can copy and paste the other ones in as well. So we can do the tandoori chicken. Oh, I've got a problem with my mouse on my desk here. My desk is really crowded with stuff at the moment. Uh, tandoori chicken, we can go to our PowerPoint, uh, paste that one in. All right, so I won't bore you with all the details. We'll do it and we'll make all of this green and put the prices in. All right, now how would you know how to do all of this? Well, you would look at the step-by-step -step instructions. Okay, so it always helps to look at the instructions. So we are on step, step, do, 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 step three. Uh, creating the styling the table and step four adding the text are actually up to step four All right, so you can follow in the step-by-step -step instructions uh, Just we'll just pause the video now and get it finished and then we'll show you Okay, so we have all of the information typed in now what you can do is you move on to this uh, boundary uh, See how you get those double arrows so finger off the button just move carefully there to get the double arrows push and hold down the button we can move this along a bit because what we'll do is we don't need a lot of room for these prices. So we're just kind of moving that boundary along a little bit, uh, just to give a little bit uh, better balance to the table like that. All right, so we've just done that and that's all good. So let's see where we're up to in the steps and what we do next. I think next we're putting the uh, presentation pictures uh, in. All right, so that writing isn't black. It's actually a really dark green, uh, which we got and used all right but you could have it as black that's okay whatever you think is a good color and whatever is readable and looks okay all right okay yes we are up to step five adding the images to the table now you go insert pictures so you're on the insert tab pictures and this device then you have to find your picture and put it in you will also have to um with this down the very bottom right hand corner of the magnification take it up to about like 220 percent 
to actually resize these to get them to fit exactly. Now we cannot give you these exact pictures because that'd be copyright infringement, but you can just go to Google Images, right? There's plenty of pictures of Rogan Josh or Tandoori Chicken. Find a picture, you might even find these exact same ones, all right? And get that and snip it out with the snipping tool, paste it onto your PowerPoint, and then you can resize it, or you can save it off Google Images and then use the insert pictures up this device. It's up to you. All right, so let's have a live demo of doing that to get that step done, step five. Okay, so we're going insert pictures. Uh, so we're going to the insert tab pictures and we're choosing this device and we should have some pictures we saved somewhere for this lesson. So let's drill down into here and find that. We're on lesson number 10, the web page table. Uh, what do we need? Uh, Rogan Josh is our first one, all right? So we're just gonna take that Rogan Josh picture and we're going to insert it in like that. And we're trying to make that fit into here. Okay, so I have to take it like that and then we're gonna have to stretch it out a bit like that. All right, now to get it exact, uh, like we said, let's just close that format background here with the X. Like we said, uh, this magnification down here at the moment is only 87%. Let's take it right up to around 220. And we can see actually, whoa, that was lucky. It was almost perfect. Uh, you could just bring maybe the top down a little bit like that. But yeah, if you take them right up in magnification, uh, my mouse is slipping around here. It's a mouse problem day. All right, yeah, there we are, I've bumped it again, Control and Z. All right, you can get them to fit exactly. So we won't show you all of it. We're gonna insert our other ones. Uh, maybe we'll just do one more. Insert pictures, the next one's the Tandoori Chicken. So that's this one. All right, so it's kind of a bit far off the right shape, but we'll just grab the corner, hold it down with our mouse and shrink it down. We'll try and line it up. Now, another trick is too, you can use the up arrow key just to make little fine movements to this. So I'm just using the up and down arrow keys on the keyboard uh, to do that. Now, I need to stretch this um, bad boy here right across to about there because I'm trying to keep it in the yellow lines. You can see it moved a little bit. Uh, and down. All right, that's fitting in quite well. And then we'll do the last one and then that is our pictures inserted, okay? So we need to do, finish off that step. Okay, we're getting near the final steps. Uh, step six, change the table boxes colors. All right, so what we can do here is uh, we're gonna change the colors. We've already made this one a kind of a uh, green kind of bay leaf type color, sort of flavor leaves or whatever that you'd add to a curry. Uh, so how you do that is how we manage to select all of them at once and change them at the same time to get the exact same color is you have to move your mouse near here till you get this kind of pointing uphill arrow. And then when you click while that arrow's there, that should highlight all of this box. Then you need to hold down the shift key, the shift key, which is sort of down the left hand corner of your computer. Put your finger on that and hold it down and don't take it off come over to this box and then kind of just hover your mouse. Don't have the button pressed down or anything. Just button up, holding down the shift key with your other hand and just click here. And that should highlight all of those in this kind of gray brown color. And then what we can do is we can use the paint bucket filler here uh, to pick a color. All right, and I think that one's gonna be an orange color. So this is a bit tricky. So, uh, yeah, more fill colors go to standard this time, not custom. And I think we're picking one of these orange ones up here by the looks of it. And then you click OK. All right, so best to do that in a live demo and then you'll see exactly how it's done. All right, so like we said, uh, move your mouse to here and just click when you get that uphill arrow and see how that's gone gray. Now I've put my finger on the shift key, if the shift key on my keyboard, I'm holding it down. I'm going over to this box until I get the uphill arrow in that box, the price box, then I'm clicking again. All of that is highlighted now, and what I'm doing is I'm going to right click on it, 
I'm going to use the paint bucket and I'm going for a green color. Now notice when you use this bright green, it kind of goes a dull green. Uh, that's got to do with the table styling that we started with. But anyway, that's a good color and that's the one we want. So we'll do the next one. We get the uphill arrow and click, hold down the shift key, get the uphill arrow again and click. That highlights all of them going across. Take your finger off the shift key at that stage. And then we need to right click on there Get on the uh, paint bucket tool, which is right here, and it was green. We're going to go more fill colors and we're going to get this uh, orange in here, I think, and use that and see how that looks when we click off it. Yeah, that's nice. That's kind of a, a warm orangey color. And down on this last one, uphill arrow, click, hold down shift and uphill arrow here and click. Take your finger off shift, right click, get on the paint bucket. And this one is going to be a kind of a yellow color like that. All right, so we're keeping the colors kind of in that kind of Indian spice type uh, theme that we've got for our page. Uh, so that's got all the colors done and everything's looking good. All we need to do is just some final tidying up so that things like these items are in the middle of the box. Uh, some of the things are bolded, some of the things are pushed across and then we're ready to go and put it onto our menu page. So we're getting near the end, trust me. Okay, step seven, reformatting and finalizing the table. So you can see we've got, this is a different size. I think it's size 16, that's size 14 font. Uh, we've bolded them, we've moved them to the middle of their boxes, and then that's it, and we're ready to go. So let's have a look at how we did that. All right, so in PowerPoint, what we did was uh, we, just got our mouse and pushed down the button, dragged across so Rogue and Josh was highlighted. Then we made it size, I think it's size 16, although it looks like it should be size 18. Let's go with 18. We're going to bold it. And then we're going to get just in front of it. All right, we're clicking into it. Then I'm using my left hand arrow just so I've got my flashing cursor there right at the first letter then hold down shift and press enter and you can bring it down now that's kind of a bit too far down but if you use the backspace key you can go back up so i'm getting clicking my cursor in the middle of that all right right at the start i'm having it the very first letter and i'm holding down shift and pressing enter all right tandoori chicken i'm going to color that in and bold it and then I'm going to click into it, move with the left arrow key, he says, and do shift enter once and shift enter again. And then that's in the middle, I'm happy with that. And I'm going to go to this one, I'm going to bold it, I'm going to get uh, my cursor, I'm going to click in the lettering, then use the left arrow key to move that vertical line cursor right in front of the T for ticker. Then I'm holding down shift and I'm pressing enter and I'll put that in the middle like that. Uh, over here, I think I'm just pushing these, going in front of those and just using one space to move those across a little bit. And I think that's all we need, all right? And then it's all neat and tidy and it's ready to go. Oh, now these prices, we could also get in front of those and probably shift enter them so that they line up and they're in the middle of their boxes as well. So just get in front of them, click in front, hold down shift, press the enter key with shift held down to move that down. And that's all looking good. And I think we're on nearly at the last step. So my goodness, we've been going 30 minutes, so you better get a wiggle on. All right, so now we're ready to make the snipping tool copy. Now, if you've never used the snipping tool before, there's a great YouTube video here. Uh, and type that in and that'll show you how to use the snipping tool. We're going to use it. Make sure you've uh, set your magnification down the bottom right hand corner to 100% before you start this. Get your snipping tool started up, snip it out and then do a file save as and save that as a JPEG. All right. So let's get to work with the snipping tool. Okay, the pair of scissors tool, the snipping tool, and you can push down your mouse on this blue bar at the top and move that around. We're just going to move it over to here and we're going to go new and we're going to cut it out. Now, if you mess it up, just click new again. Just move that over here a bit out of the way and click new again. 
and just go for it again. So what we need to do is we need to push down, hold down our mouse, and we're just going to draw a kind of rectangle all around this. And that's our finished table. So we're going to do a file save as, and just save this, not in the tax file. I was working on my taxes before. Uh, let's see. And goodness knows I pay a lot of them. Uh, so let's just call this finish table. Okay, so now we've saved a copy of it. What else we can do is we can go to edit copy. And then remember back in Photoshop here where we had our page, all right, for the menu page. We're just going to click on that picture and press the delete key to remove it. We're going to click on that picture and press the delete key and take that out. Then we're going to go edit and we're going to go uh, paste, paste. And that will bring that table in. Then if you, as long as you're on the arrow key, this top left hand tool in Photoshop, we can move that round and get it into position. So it's going to go down here. And all we need is a little heading in here that says this week's special. So we get on the T tool and we click in there and it's given us this lorem ipsum stuff. But in the fonts up the top here, uh, we need this one called brush script. So this was in the previous lesson we went through all of this work. This is why we were saying you needed to do the previous lesson before this one. So we did brush script. We had brush script set to not to italic. Uh, the size of it probably needs to be uh, maybe even 60. And let's try type over that lorem ipsum. But before we do, let's just pick a different color, not white up here. Let's go for a bright uh, red kind of color. Uh, for chili, and we'll have this week's. If I could type, and of course the English teachers will say that you need an apostrophe in there. I think this week's specials. I don't know. I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm not an English teacher. Hope that doesn't upset teachers. Ah, uh, now that color is not nearly dark enough. So I need a, um, yeah, kind of a nice dark dry chili, dried out chilies that are going to grind up and make our curry really hot. Uh, so yeah, we can just put that across there and then we can save this as a JPEG. And that's our design for the menu page. So that's a new design with a nice little PowerPoint table. Now, <coughs> You could have made this table in Photoshop or Dreamweaver and not used Microsoft products. But <clears throat> look, we've been teaching uh, for 14 years now. High school students have been teaching. We have found that uh, making it in Dreamweaver, they, they kind of get switched off with the complication level. PowerPoint something they know and they're familiar with. They're happy with Microsoft things. And we just get our junior students. They're not kind of senior high school students. They're middle school. We just get them to do it this way. We show the more uh, capable students the other way and some of them, yeah, they're happy to uh, make it in HTML, make it in Dreamweaver. But this is, I see, Passy's World of ICT is fun things we all can do. That's our whole theme and everyone can do this. So this is something all our students can do. So we show them this way and other students do use the advanced way that IT teachers will be going, oh, that's rubbish, they should be using HTML. Well, yes, you can have your advanced students do it, but why not let everyone get the chance to participate and get some feeling of success and learning, okay? So some of them can do it with PowerPoint. Anyway, that's enough of that. All right, so copy snip into PowerPoint, into Photoshop. We've actually done that. We've done our edit paste. We put this week's specials up the top. So uh, that's a finished product and we're done. And that is now all of our web pages designed for our Indian restaurant website. And so in the next lesson, I uh, will show you how to start up Adobe Dreamweaver. So we'll be back in the Adobe shirt and we'll be doing, I know that's very exciting. Uh, we'll be doing Dreamweaver from the Adobe periodic table of applications and learning how to make this into HTML that can run in a web browser. So 
challenge task for you is that when you're making your own website design, so we get our students, we, after they all do the Indian restaurant together, we get them to do one of their own choice, a shop. And so they use tables in that for um, a menu, or they might use it if they're doing a clothing shop here to have some products for sale and pictures of the products, okay? Or this guy who did the computer and repair shop made tables here to have his prices and things that were for sale. And it's easier to make them in PowerPoint and then just to um, copy snip the image into uh, Photoshop and then put that as an image on your web page. Okay, so these skills you will be using when you do your own individual assignment if you're working in um, computer classes. All right, so have fun with PowerPoint tables, Microsoft. For this web course, we're using uh, Adobe Photoshop. We've used Microsoft PowerPoint and the main rest of the course is going to be using Dreamweaver plus editing up HTML and using some JavaScript. So remember, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe so you get to see those lessons and we'll see you in the next lesson.